Hello, I'm Patricia Silva with your SCV News Break for Friday, July 14th. A 20-year-old Lancaster man was arrested Thursday night for recklessly causing the Towsley brush fire. Witnesses observed the suspect, Zachary Garcia, setting off a smoke canister during paintball games at the paintball park in the Towsley Canyon area. The canister set off a brush fire which became uncontrollable. Garcia was detained at the scene and then transported and booked at the SCB Sheriff's Station. He is charged with recklessly causing a fire accidentally. The Towsley fire burned a little over 50 acres on Thursday afternoon. LESD arson and explosives detail detectives are handling the investigation. Senator Scott Wilk honored local padlock company Pacific Lock as the small business of the month for July 2017. Pacific Lock is a family-run business that has been in operation since 1998. As an entrepreneur, you're, you're constantly working hard. Every day you're coming in, um, you're working on your opportunities, you're working on the issues that you have to solve, and a lot of times you can't see the forest through the trees. Um, in that, your company's doing really well, you just don't know it. And you're doing a lot of great things in the community, you just don't know it. Um, so for something like this to happen, it gives you pause, gives you a chance to kind of step back and say, you know, we are doing a lot of great things here. We employ great people. Um, we're doing, we have a lot of great customers that we work for that we've solved a lot of problems. And we're, we're growing um, in a way that we feel comfortable with, that we can manage, and that um, we feel good about our future. So a day like this just kind of helps you step back and say, yeah, we're doing pretty good. The Senator's office honors different small businesses in the Antelope Valley, Lancaster, and Santa Clarita Valley each month. So when we pick a small business, what we do is we, we reach out to people in the community. So we always talk to the Chamber of Commerce, we talk to the Economic Development Corporation. Hey, what, what's a great business that's here, that's thriving, but that also gives back to the community, which I realize in retrospect I didn't spend a lot of time talking about today, but they've done a, a lot of work with the dis, uh, disabled community in terms of offering employment opportunities. So that's the, that's the criteria that we use and um, they were selected through a consensus process here locally. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, see what fun events there are this weekend. Plus, be careful, it's a hot one out there. We'll have more on your five-day forecast after the break. They'll test you. Try to break your will. But however loud the loudness gets, however many cheese puffs may fly, you're the driver the one in control. Stand firm. Just wait. And move only when you hear the click that says they're buckled in for the drive. Never give up till they buckle up. The earthquakes you see in movies are one thing, but real life is a completely different animal. Just because you can't predict an earthquake doesn't mean that you can't prepare for one. In the event of a real earthquake, you should drop, cover, and hold on. Visit ready.gov slash earthquake and practice what to do to keep you and your family safe in the event of a real earthquake. And you'll be seen as a hero by your family and your loved ones. Visit ready.gov slash earthquake today. Welcome back. Check out some fun events to head out to this weekend. Hear the songs of Earth, Wind and Fire as the band Kalimba tributes the popular band for this week's Concerts in the Park. Kalimba is considered to be the best tribute to Earth, Wind and Fire in the country. Concerts in the Park are free events put on by the City of Santa Clarita. This week's concert begins at 7 in the evening in Central Park on Saturday. Concert goers are encouraged to bring beach chairs and blankets. Food vendors will be on site selling a variety of concessions and stands. The family friendly atmosphere allows residents and visitors to sit back, relax, and enjoy the music all summer long. On Sunday, July 15th, head out to the Topanga Canyon Gallery to see Santa Clarita artist Adele Tisber's newest gallery. An opening reception will celebrate the exhibit Juxtapose Perceptions on July 15th from 5 to 8 in the evening. Head to TopangaCanyonGallery.com to find out more details. A high heat alert will be in effect Saturday and Sunday. The Department of Public Health is reminding everyone to take precautions to protect themselves from the high heat. They warn that even a few hours of exertion in high heat can lead to severe dehydration, heat cramps, heat exhaustion, and heat stroke. Make sure to stay out of the sun if you don't need to be in it. 
older individuals and those with chronic medical conditions are heavily advised to stay in air-conditioned areas during peak heat hours. If you don't have access to air conditioning at home, public facilities such as cooling centers, shopping malls, parks, and libraries are available to stay cool. Also, make sure to drink plenty of cool water or electrolyte-replacing sports drinks and avoid sweetened drinks, caffeine, and alcohol. Remember to never leave pets, infants, or small children in the car for any duration of time. It is illegal to leave an infant or child unattended in a vehicle. The Department of Public Health says that the heat advisory is subject to being extended if the heat persists. Now let's take a look at weather to see if the heat will last into next week. Friday saw temps in the low 90s. However, temperatures shoot up to 102 on Saturday and conditions are expected to be hot and breezy during the day. Expect temperatures around 101 on Sunday. Monday will have temps hitting 100 with hot conditions. On Tuesday, it'll still be hot with temperatures hitting 97 during the day and 67 at night. That's all for your SCB News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scbnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Patricia Silva.